I am literally in disbelief on this right now. So, so, you know about the Boston Bruins. Like, that they're a hockey team that existed for a lot, for so many years. Almost a hundred years right now. They, they've been good for so many years. And now this season, they're, they're doing really, really good. As as they as they currently have a record of 10, 1, and 0, 20 points, which ties for the best in the league thus far. They're they, they have been dominating the whole time. Things are looking really good for the Bruins. Like like Bergeron Bergeron is coming back. David Krejci is coming coming back to the NHL. And a lot of and a lot of other things. It's like we we didn't expect them to do this good, but they are doing good, despite the fact that Marshan was injured in the beginning. But still, they still able to do good, and they're looking to try to win the President's Trophy, and all that. Things are doing good for the Bruins. That is until what they did. Today, today, uh, just recently today, they signed a defenseman to an entry-level contract, and that player is Mitchell Miller. Now, for now, for the hockey fans out there, I'm sure a lot of you know who Mitchell Miller is. If you wish you didn't know, but but you obviously know. But for those that, uh, that don't know who Mitchell Miller is, Mitchell Miller is a defenseman in hockey. He he, he was he was selected in the fourth round by the Arizona Coyotes in 2020. And an and, and up and up to when he got drafted, he looked to be very good. As he's as in 2019-2020, he scored eight goals, 25 assists, and 33 points in 44 games. This seems like a very excited player, and and everything. And then the next season, and then in, in this past season, 2021-2022. He did better as he scored nearly 40 goals, 44 assists, and 83 points in 60 games. He see he looks like a pretty excited defenseman. You some of now those that don't know him, you're thinking he's a very good defenseman. Why are you upset? Well, if you think I'm upset because he's gonna make the Bruins better, then. That is just wrong. Then you're wrong, really wrong. Cause, uh, cause Mitchell Miller is not known to be in the draft and to be a dominant defenseman. But what Mitchell Miller is known for is racism and bullying. In twenty in twenty sixteen, Miller and a classmate. Oh, uh, who went to juvenile court and charges of assault and violation of Ohio Safe Schools Act. He and a classmate had bullied Isaiah Mayor Crothers. They did things. They did things like having having him eat a piece of candy that had been wiped along the urinal. And they bullied him for so many years. Like, started from first grade, going into eighth, and a lot of that. Now, seeing that is bad enough, but it gets worse. Isaiah Mayor Crothers is not just any old student. No. It is, it is, a, it is a black, disabled, Kid, it's like, it's like bo bullying a kid is one thing, but bully, uh, uh, bullying a black, 
a kid of color is really bad. Bullying a kid that's disabled is also worse. But to bully someone that's physically uh, that's disabled and black, that is the worst combination uh, combination to bully. Like like Mil like Miller called Mayor Crothers the N word ever since first grade. He smacked and punched Mayor Crothers. He he says the N word over and over and over again. Spin on his face. Called him brownie and t and told him to go pick their cotton and everything. What he what Mitchell Miller did to this kid is disgusting, and he has dealt with so much trauma because of because of this. It's like that kid is literally scarred for life. Now I know you guys are probably thinking. This was back when he was a little kid. He's obviously different now. But but he was 14. At that point, a 14-year-old should know should know that you can't call black people racist words like that. Like it is just wrong. And the and the worst part is it doesn't seem like he got it from his parents. Like like if a kid says racist things, you you know that it's either from a from their family, either from their friends, or from their environment they're from. It's like, but it doesn't seem like the environment made him say those things. Miller did all of those things on his own, and he did it over and over and over again for so many years. Like, it's really disgusting, and I'm totally against what they did. Yet, despite all of that, the Coyotes still drafted him anyways. Cause they, and not only did they draft him, but they wanted to help Miller grow and have him become a leader against bullying and racism. Really? You want a guy? You, a random guy to become a leader against things that he himself did? Like, no. He doesn't deserve to be a leader against bullying and racism. Like, he, he has broken that trust with the whole community there. And if that wasn't bad enough, it got worse. When he got drafted, Mitchell Miller apologize. Now apologizing is fine. This is like if you did something wrong, you should obviously hold yourself accountable. But the problem is he apologized to all the NHL teams. But not Isaiah or to his family. It's like like that is just bad. That like you need to apologize to Isaiah and his family. That's who you should be apologizing to. Not the NHL teams or any hockey teams. Of, of course, the mother was upset about the Coyotes. And, and it gets even worse when when the other classmate was able to hold himself accountable. But not Miller. He, the court... The court found them guilty, and they said that Miller had no remorse for his actions, and was merely upset that his reputation would be damaged by the such. Of course, it's gonna be damaged. What you did is wrong. What you did gets you canceled. You can't be mad at the world for some for something that you've done. So of course. When was soon when Miller was drafted, everybody was mad at the Coyotes, and because of that, the Coyotes had no choice but to renounce their rights and cut ties with him. And not, and and you know it's bad because Mitchell Miller was originally going to be a was going to be a first round pick, but after knowing what happened, so many teams. Skipped on him and have him go down in the fourth round. And not only that, but Miller was dropped 
from his University of North Dakota ice hockey team. And 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 his punishment was community service and having him help people of ethnicity and disabled kid like like he he did something bad to a person of ethnicity and disabilities. And you think the best way to do this is to have them help more of those groups. Like, like, I don't think they would have been okay with Miller helping them out. It's like, I mean, I, I mean, he did his job, but that's the thing. He only did it because the world forced him to do it. Not because he wanted to do it. It's like, like if it was up to him, he wouldn't be doing this. And of course he keeps of course he keeps dodging it. it. Of course he blames everyone but himself. It's like, uh, like he he was like, I wanted to make an apology to a scion and his family, but the court won't let me. Like, like seriously, it's like, uh, and then he then and then in his apology he keeps saying that I hope we can still be friends. We've been friends for ye years. You are not his friend. Friends don't bully. Friend, friends don't call, be racist to each other. Friends are supposed to have each other back and care for each other, no matter what. Like, like, and the fact that the Boston Bruins have drafted that guy is just so wrong. It's like, it's like, like he does not deserve a ch another chance in the NHL. Uh, like he doesn't deserve that big chance to make the big leagues. Like he has broken that trust with the whole community. Like he does like any he, and he chose not to say anything about this case until after he was drafted. Like, like if if you want to get a chance in the NHL. You just need to apologize to Isaiah and his family. You should have been. You should have done this. You should have done this earlier, back in 2016, but you didn't. And that and that is another example of avoiding responsibilities. Like, like, like if you want, like. This example that I give you isn't a perfect example of uh, of holding themselves accountable. Like you guys would ar argue the same thing with Logan Mayu, the guy that was drafted by the Montreal Canadiens in 2021 in the first round, and I, I mean like Logan Lemieux, uh, like he like he he secretly took photos of young women. And have them do sexual acts and post it on social media. Like, that is bad. But the thing is, he knew that it was bad. He, like, Lo Logan Lemieux admit admitted it. Now, that's a good thing. He, he, he admitted it. He took accountability. He said, yes, I did this. Like, like, he even told the, all the NHL teams... To not draft him, like, like he didn't want to be drafted, like, like he's like, do not draft me. Uh, what I did is wrong, and I should have never done it. I, 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 I need to, I need to make sure not to do this again. I need to better myself and everything. Like, this is an example of someone holding themselves accountable. Like, sure, Montreal did draft him despite him not wanting to be drafted, but that's a thing. Logan Demu did this once. He took himself accountability. He apologized. He took accountability. He admitted it. He didn't want to be drafted, but he still wants to work. He wants to work on himself. Like, as long as, long as he's continue to work on himself and make sure that what he did doesn't happen again then then all could be forgiven it's like he he he's aware of what he did 
and he decides to change for the better. Logan Lemieux is unproven as a human being, while Mitchell Miller is continue to do his continue to say this continue to do and say the same things now that he's done back in 2016. It's like he's avoiding responsibility. Like when he talked about it, he of course he he hid all the details. He's just like. What I did was wrong and I shouldn't have done it. But he never told us everything that he did. Like, he just doesn't want to hold himself accountable. And the fact that the Bruins uh, sign him is just wrong. Like, so I mean, it's like, he, he just wants to put leave everything back in the past and just move on like it's nothing. But people do not forget. I never forgot, many of us never forgot, and especially Isaiah and his family never forgot, and they will never forget about it. So, so Metro Miller, I hope you're watching this video. I know that Don Sweeney of the Bruins mentioned that, that he's going to have Metro Miller talk, to talk get in contact with Isaiah and his family and have them apologize to them. It's like, I mean, like, it's like the, like, you know this move is bad when even several Bruins players were like, why? And I don't blame them for thinking that because this is not a good player for the locker room and all that stuff. Like, it's like, I like, like the like Don Sweeney knew already knew what he who he signed, and he's willing to make sure to have Mitchell Miller learn and to have him change for the better. And he says he and he's and he basically said that if if things go south, he's just gonna let him go. He basically said. We want you to play with us, but in order to play with us, you need uh, you need to hold yourself accountable. You need to talk to Isaiah and his family and apologize. As as long as you hold yourself accountable, and as long as you make sure not to do this again, we'll let you play with us. Like, it's dumb. It's stupid that he that he signed Miller, but he but he, but he gave him an automatic but he definitely gave him a choice like either change for the better and play or don't play at all so Mitchell Miller Don Sweeney's got to trying to make to resolve this case and once he tell once he does this you need to talk you need to go to Isaiah and his family and apologize for all the abuse You've caused on to him, cause what you did was wrong and it's disgusting. Like you need to hold yourself accountable for your actions. It's like you gotta, you gotta get in, you gotta, you need to talk to Isaiah and his family and apologize right now. If you're watching this, do that right now. Like if you want a second chance, you gotta own it. Hold yourself accountable. Apologize to Isaiah and his family and tell the world what you've did. It's like it's like it's like like responsibility for everything you've done is apologizing to Isaiah and his family. Not the NHL, not the Bruins, not the community. It's Isaiah and his family you have to apologize to. Like, apologize and don't cause abuse like this ever again. That is the o that is the only way we know that you're actually sorry. That's how we know you're holding yourself accountable and willing to change for the better. And that should be the mo that would be the moment we can we can forgive you and allow you to pursue your dreams in the NHL. But until that time comes. You won't be forgiven until you do that one thing. So, Mitchell Miller, you need to apologize to Isaiah and his family right now. Everyone that's watching this video, that are that are that are con are in contact with Mitchell Miller, 
share this with him and tell him to apologize to Isaiah and his family. If he can do that, we'll be good. But if he doesn't, we're not gonna let him we're not gonna give him a chance at NHL. Now says now Bruins fans and Bruins players that didn't want Mitchell Miller, I feel your pain. And Isaiah and all the family, I'm really sorry for what Isaiah has to go through. Like what like what what Mitchell did to Isaiah is wrong and he doesn't deserve that. Like nobody deserves to be bullied or abused and cause trauma. Like Isaiah is a good guy and he and I know that that he can do many big things and I know that he is amazing. So it's like it's like and anyone who's go who has, says otherwise are just racist and all of that. Like Isaiah said, please keep your head high. Like don't let any don't let any anything negativity get to you. Like I want you to focus on your dreams and everything you want to accomplish and do you. So, so, I mean it's like. It's like, I stand with you and I stand with your family.